This is going to be the best affiliate marketing tutorial that you've ever watched because I'm not just going to share you tips and tricks. Oh, tip one, tip two. No, I'm going to walk you through how to get started with building an affiliate marketing website and making money. So this is just going to be a step by step tutorial so that even if you've not done affiliate marketing before, even if you're just a beginner, you're going to understand how to do this, how to get started and also how to profit from this method of making money online. So why would I even show you this? Why am I showing you this? Why should you listen to me? I've made millions from affiliate marketing over the years and I want to share the methods that I've used and the method I can use to make money from this even if you have zero dollars. Whatever I'm showing you here, you don't need to spend one dollar my name is Charles. Subscribe if you have not subscribed to this channel. There are a lot of helpful videos in this channel. Let's get started. So what is affiliate marketing? Affiliate marketing is where I sell a product and get a commission for selling that product. For example, you can see this mouse is very beautiful. If I decide to sell this mouse, if this mouse is priced for hundred dollars and I say, oh, I want to sell this mouse. There's a commission here for 10% and I sell this mouse. That means I'll be getting $10 for selling this mouse. So if this mouse is hundred dollars and the commission is $10, which is 10%, I'm going to make $10 for selling this mouse. So if I sell 10 of these mouse, I've made $100 without spending any money. So I don't need to spend money to buy the mouse. I just need to tell people say, oh, hey, this mouse is nice. Buy this mouse. Or, oh, I just share the advantages of this mouse. So, you know, share maybe the link to where this product is and say, oh, check out this new mouse. And then people click on the link and say, oh, this mouse is actually nice. It looks good. It's not like the regular mouse. And then they click and buy the mouse. I just get a percentage. So if 1,000 people buy this mouse, that means that's a whole lot of money. That's, that's thousands of dollars, right? I've made from just saying, hey, buy this thing without spending any money. So that's just the easy description or easy explanation of what affiliate marketing is. So getting commission from the sale of a product. Now, why should you do it? Why should you do affiliate marketing? Number one, it needs low capital. You don't need to have hundred dollars. You don't need to have one thousand dollars. You don't need to have millions to start affiliate marketing. All you need is just your time to implement what I'll be showing you and then you can start. You can work from anywhere. So you don't need to be in the office when it comes to affiliate marketing. You can decide to work from any location, your house, your bedroom, your father's house, whatever, wherever you are. You can work even from your uh, nine to five job, your office and still make money from affiliate marketing. So with affiliate marketing, there is no customer support no shipping so you're not shipping any product to anybody you're not concerned about that one you're not saying oh you're not trying to do customer support oh why is this product not good oh you have not sent my product no you're not even concerned about that that is not part of it you can do this without showing your face you don't need to put your face on an ad and all that things no affiliate marketing is very very simple and it's going to teach you skills that are transferable to any business. So if you can start affiliate marketing, learn the skills, you can start any business. It's transferable. Say you sell clothes or say you sell bags, you sell any solution or any product that you have. If you're able to sell other people's products, you can sell your product. Because affiliate marketing, you're going to learn copywriting, you're going to learn how to run ads, you're going to learn how to write content, you're going to learn how to post blog, you're going to even learn how to build websites that I'll show you here in this video. You're going to learn a lot of skills. So if you've built all those skills, if you want to start a business, you can just start because you have the knowledge, you know what to do, you have the experience, you can easily launch a campaign and start making sales for your business. Now, you don't need any skills to start this. There is no special skill needed from anywhere. You don't need certification, even if you're not a graduate. I know um, one of my friends, he's made over 100 million in affiliate marketing. So he's not a graduate, per se. And I know other people that have even come out of third class and they are making money from affiliate marketing. So you don't need any skill. You don't need any special skill. You don't need to be fluent in English. You don't, you don't need all that. All right, affiliate marketing gives you the opportunity to determine how much success that you want to make. Now, this is passive income. You're going to be making money continuously. Once you set this up, before you know, you start getting sales. Oh, 20 people just bought today. 15 people just bought today. Oh, you see, start getting notifications. Oh, five people just bought today. I did not do anything because of 
a system that you set, things just start coming in, which is what I'll be showing you. And uh, there is high profit margin with affiliate marketing. Like I said, there are different types of products. If you want to sell products that are $10, fine. You're going to get low commissions of like $1. If you decide to sell products that are $1,000, you're going to get good commissions of maybe $50 or $100 for selling that one product or even $300, $400, depending on the affiliate commission. Some products have 50% affiliate commission. They have 60%, 70%, 80% affiliate commission. Meanwhile, some have up to 10%, 5% affiliate commission. So it is up to you. What product do you want to promote? What product do you want to sell? What niche do you want to go into? So all that you need to consider before start. So it's a high profit margin business. It all depends on the strategy that you choose or the product that you want to sell. Now, there are things you need to consider before starting. A lot of people won't tell you this. They'll just tell you, oh, affiliate marketing is, ah, you can make money from affiliate marketing. It's nice. Oh, start it. You start making. But they won't tell you the real truth about affiliate marketing. Before you start, before you think about, oh, I want to start this, you're energized, let me start this. You need to consider this thing. You can get easily distracted. So just like any other business, all right, you can be doing affiliate marketing and then your friend comes and says, oh, this crypto, one thing, and then before you jump, before you know you're into crypto and you start from scratch, or someone comes in and tell you, oh, come and do this, come and do this, try this, and before you know, you're distracted, you're taking another slope. <laughs> You've taken another direction, another business, another side hustle. You don't want to be distracted. You want to be focused because if you're distracted, or everything that you've done, even if you've spent three months, four months, five months in affiliate marketing, you've just lost it, all right? It's only the knowledge that you would have. So you need to consider that this method of making money, there's high competition in it. There are a lot of people doing affiliate marketing. I'm going to share this idea. But I was talking to someone and he said, oh, I want to start a business and this is what I do. I was like, okay, how do you make money from this? I said, once they successfully get the loan, I get a percentage, a commission from the loan that they take. Oh, that's a business model. <laughs> you were surprised, They're like, oh, so it's actually making money. So it's, it's a loan platform and it's making money from, you know, the people that he refers to take that loan. So his, his business alone, it's a loan website, but all the loan products that are there is not his. Those are just affiliate products. And if you decide to take that product or take that loan, he's going to get a percentage from the bank giving the loan. So there are a lot of business models that are based on affiliates. They don't have the product itself. They don't create a product. They just promote the product and get a commission based on the sale of that product. Now, the next one is it takes time to achieve results. A lot of people want to get quick results, but the truth is everything good takes time. So you don't expect to start something today and, oh, you see the result you start. It's a lie. You have to work for it. You have to prove to life that you can do it. All right. It is that experience that would drive you to keep getting good results. So you need to be the experience for life to be able to give you what you want. So you have to invest time to make this work. But you can just get results like this. Depends. If you're able to come up with something or if you're able to come up with a strategy, you're able to get quick results. It all depends. So don't just focus on, you know, getting that quick sale and, oh, you just do this and then sales just come in and all that. No, just have it in mind that it's going to take time for you to get the result that you want. Unless something just goes viral, you create a post or a blog and for you know, it starts performing well. Boom. That's sure you're going to get sales. But don't bank on that. And you need to consider that these commissions are not controlled by you. So for example, like I said, this mouse can be sold for $100, but the company might decide to change the commission from 10% to 5% that you can't do anything because it's not your product. It's a company's product. So they can decide to say, oh, the commission is 15%. Increase it and make more money. Or reduce it and say, oh, it's no more 10%, it's 5%. And you can't do anything. Commissions can change at any time because you don't have control of the product or the service. It's not your control. It's a person that created that product that has the control of the product or service. And they can change anything at any time based on the strategy they want to implement, based on the result they are getting, or based on what they feel they want to do at that point, okay? So you don't have any control of it. You just have to have that in mind. Anything happens at any time. That doesn't stop you from making money from it. Now, another thing you need to consider is content maintenance. You need to be able to maintain the content that you will be creating on these websites. For example, if you're creating content on websites or blog posts or is it video content or just content where you don't have to show your face or if it's articles, whatever, you need to be able to 
create more content to maintain it now why would you have to create more content if you don't create more content you would lose relevance your blog will lose relevance your channel will lose relevance that means you'll not be making sales so if you want to make more sales you have to keep putting out content for you to have that reach if you don't do that how would people see your value and then see what you have and pay for it because it's through your content someone's able to see your value and say oh there's a value in this and then the person might decide to buy whatever you're offering so i can decide to say oh um putting out a blog post or put out a blog post about the advantages of using an ergonomic mouse this is an ergonomic mouse write a blog post and about it and because the reader enjoy the blog post they can say oh let me see if this post recommends the particular mouse to buy and they say oh okay here is the link to buy the uh, mouse and then poop they, they buy the mouse in the first place why did they even think of clicking the link to buy the mouse because they have begun or they have trusted me for giving them that valuable information have attained a certain level of authority so they can say oh can you show me where to get this mouse you talked about i can say oh you get it from here this is the website you get it from and boop they get the mouse and i get my commission so most times it is important to maintain your content put now value so that you would keep your authority level high and be able to drive sale based on your authority level why even put now content is to build authority right so that you can recommend a product and someone can easily buy because you've given them value you've taught them about something so just put out content and maintain that pace be consistent with it and you keep getting results so you need to consider this are you ready to be consistent are you ready to keep putting out content if you're not ready then i'm afraid this might not be for you but i'm sure that for watching up to this point you're ready to get started and this will be a walkover now all this i've shared with you you may not need to spend more than five hours a day implementing this in fact it might get up to a point where you just have to spend two to three hours every day just to touch point on uh, the method i'll be sharing with you and you'll be getting results from it what is the best niche to start from we're getting this question and the question is oh i want to start which niche is the best what can i do now there are different niches that you can start the first one is health niche now i would not recommend this niche unless unless you are a doctor a nurse or a certified professional in the health industry and all that because it's a delicate niche like i said you don't want to start giving out health content when you have no idea about it when you're not trained about it for sake of god this is people's life so you want to be a professional and know what you're talking about before doing this i know people use ai or chat gpt to like create content around this but really it's people's life so if you're not a professional you can just try to avoid it but there is a lot of money to be made with the health niche because a lot of people looking for healthy food they are looking for workout ideas they are looking for natural remedies people want to lose weight a lot of people are catching up with this health niche so Health niche is quite good for you if you want to start and there are different if you're in the health niche you can diversify from healthy food to workout to natural remedies so your blog can cover all these or you can focus on only healthy food or just workout or just natural remedies okay and then the next one is technology technology like phones laptops best laptops 2024 models uh mics other devices a lot of devices camera and all that ring lights there is a lot of devices that you can talk about even cars okay the new technologies that are out there new cars and stuff like that so that's a different niche software also you can talk about ai tools software for businesses software for creators uh software for people that are looking to make money online so there are different software tools that you can talk about and still get paid just for recommending or talking about those tools i'm going to share the strategy don't worry just understand the niches all these niches are good fashion you can talk about models or shopping ideas or trending outfits and stuff like that so the fashion need is broad and you can talk about a lot of things concerning the fashion niche and all these things you don't need to show your face there are so many other niches but these niches i just shared here are the top niches which are solving problems that people want so these top niches solve problems every day for people so people are constantly searching for one of these things and if you're able to create content that advises people or that solves one of these problems 
you're going to get results. To get started, you need to sign up on affiliate platforms and choose the product that you want to promote. So to get started, you need to choose an affiliate platform to start. But the method I'm sharing with you is an affiliate marketing website. So you don't need an affiliate platform, but you can sign up on affiliate platforms to start. Now, what are affiliate platforms? Affiliate platforms are like, you know, Amazon affiliates, which you want to sign up on. If you have it, maybe Jumi affiliates, um, eBay affiliates, or maybe any other affiliate platform that you are aware of. And you can also sign up on different tools. Now you can see here, these are some of the AI tools that I promote and I get affiliate commission whenever someone buys. So you can see the list is long here. It's up to, you know, 30 something products and there are even more. These are the ones that I can remember as of now. And you can see all these are AI tools because I decided to focus on AI because I talk about AI tech and all that. So for example, if you want to focus on the specific tools, you can just sign up on the platform as an affiliate. For example, if it's this script that you want to sign up on, if you go to descript.com, if you scroll to the bottom of the website that you want to be an affiliate or the platform, whatever platform it is, you will always see a plot where they say become an affiliate or affiliate program. You can see here, it has affiliate program. Most of those platforms might not reach out to you. You just have to go to their website, search for it, and look for affiliate program, their affiliate program, and sign up for it. And you can see end money as a descript affiliate partner. So click on apply now and you'll become an affiliate. So you can do this for different platforms depending on the niche that you belong to. So depending on the niche that you're focusing on, there are affiliate platforms, there are products that want affiliates to promote them. Just go and sign up there, you know, arrange your links, get your affiliate links, and then I'll show you the next thing to do. So for example, look at this script. We can see the pricing for this script. So whenever someone makes a purchase, maybe $24, you know, makes a purchase, I'll get a commission. You can see the commission here, 15% recurring commission. And that's why I love software tools, AI tools, or maybe any software tool. Most of the software tools are monthly subscriptions. So they give you commission every month. So they'll give you 50%. For example, if the person paid $24, subscribe to this platform through your link, you'll be getting 15% of this every month. If you basically subscribe for the business model of $40, you'll be getting 15% of this. See, it's $50 every month. So just imagine you're able to get 1,000 people. That means 1,000 people will be paying you 15% of this every month. This is crazy. Once you have your affiliate platform signed up, you've signed up on different affiliate platforms or you've signed up on a platform that has different affiliate products like ClickBank, or JVZoo and all that. The next thing you have to do is to know the kind of content that you create on these your affiliate marketing website. Now we'll be going to websites, right? But now let me show you what to do when you want to create content. So let's say you want to go into technology and you're just looking to see the best phones out there or you're looking to get ideas. You can just search for best phones and then you're going to get ideas of the kind of blog post to create. You don't need to do it from scratch. Get a keyword and then search for it and recreate that blog post. I'll show you how to do this. You don't need to spend so much time. So for example, let me show you this. Uh, best phone 2024. This is a blog. You can see this blog. It talks about the phone, talks about the best phones. It does a review on it and it shares different affiliate links. This is an affiliate link. This is an affiliate. You won't know it's an affiliate link. It just tells you to view it at Amazon, but then it compares the both products and tells you things about it. Now AI can do this for you. I'm going to show you how to do it, right? You can see how the blog looks like. So oh, don't think you're going to write everything. No, I'm going to show you how to do this quickly. You do this in less than five minutes. Now, um, if you have signed up on different affiliate platforms, you can see, um, let's click on view on one of the affiliate links here, which I know is an affiliate link. If you click on it, you can see that's taking us to Amazon. Yes, this is an affiliate link. And you can see the product is 681 pounds. That means if the affiliate percentage is about 5%, you know how much they're getting or 10%, you know how much they're getting for this one sale. And this is just one of the products and there are different affiliate links here. So now if you look at their blog or their website, they create content around phones. That means they can promote different phones. They create content about computers, best computer, this is computing and all that. That means they can promote products around computers, best computers and all, the, all that. And computers are expensive. They are ranging to like $1,000, $2,000, 
dollars, three thousand dollars. Just imagine the athlete percentage for a product like that. Promoting things about TVs and you see promoting AI softwares, which means you know they are putting out AI content, and in that content they are going to put the affiliate link for AI products that they talk about. And this is streaming health audio, so you can see this is a good example of an affiliate marketing website. This is a blog, but they are making money from affiliate marketing. And not just affiliate marketing, you can see Google Ads here, AdSense. They are also making money from AdSense. Uh, so if I click here, they get money from just me clicking on this ad here. So you can see this is a very good example that you can model. Let's go back to getting an idea of the keyword that we want to focus on and they get an idea on the type of content to create. So for example, we want to discover keywords that people search for. So you don't want to just create a post or a blog post on a website that people are not searching for. So how would you know keywords to use that people are searching for? So what you want to do is to go to Google and search for Google Keyword Planner. This is a free tool that you can use and then click on find your campaign keywords with keyword planner so if you go to keyword planner and click on discover new keywords for example search for by phone because you also want to target keywords around action so people that are looking to buy you want to target keywords around that also not just best phones and all that so click on get results and you can see other related keywords that you can search for and compare their keywords and you can also sort out the brand or the model and all that but i'm not trying to do refine the keyword but i just want to show you that uh so of the example of keywords you can see these are keywords um iphone refurbished gets up to 10k searches every month sell my iphone gets up to 100k searches every month this is just like refurbished it's relating to refurbished content so here refurbished phones getting up to 100k searches iphone 12 refurbished getting up to 10k searches so you just have to check out keywords that get good monthly search low competition now if you don't use keyword planner there are other tools that you can use to do this we have keywords everywhere uh, keywordseverywhere.com and you can install this tool on google chrome your browser firefox or edge so this tool shows you gives you helps you increase your seo social media competitor research you can use it for content research content marketing to know which keywords to perform well which type of content to create or what type of blog post to create so keywords everywhere is a good platform for you to use for keyword research SEM Roach is another good platform to use when it comes to ranking on google getting better seo SEMrush is a tool that you want to use is a great tool ahref.com is another tool that you can use so i've shown you different tools about four tools that you can use to get keywords and to rank on google because if you rank you get more sales if you're getting 10k traffic per month that's considerable amount of good sales if you're getting 50k traffic 100k traffic that's some good sales that you'll be making now once you've understood your keywords you have an idea of the blog post that you want to create remember you've chosen your niche you had your niche you've chosen software niche ai tools and you've understood the keyword to use the next thing is the platform to build your website for free now i'm going to share some other platforms which are not free which you can sign up on now the first one is namecheap namecheap is a platform that you can uh, build your website on it has wordpress hosting and all that so you can buy the domain cheap on namecheap you can host your platform on namecheap for as low as six pounds per year this is around eight dollars per year okay you can buy .com domain for six pounds per year and host it for a very cheap price and then we have hostinga hostinga is more expensive so you can get started for about three four dollars per month which is not bad and there is hostgator hostgator is expensive i use hostgator for all my domains and all that i use hostgator for most of my domains so hostgator is quite good these ones that i share are not free but if you want to use a free platform you want to sign for Wix so I just go to Wix.com and then click on Wix website builder Wix is a free platform that you can build a blog a modern day blog modern day affiliate marketing website you don't want to go and start using blogger.com I know I made a post that you can use blogger.com to create a blog but we are in 2024 2025 whatever Wix is a modern day platform that has a lot of integrations. There are a lot of things you can do with Wix. And the best thing about Wix is you can get started for free with AI building your website for you. All you have to do is to click on get started and the AI will build your website. So let's build our website and then we post a blog all with AI. Click on get started or click on sign up and then sign up with your email or sign up with Google Mail or Facebook. So I'm going to sign up with Google Mail. We'll sign up. 
So once you get up to the sign up page, it's gonna ask you, who are you creating a website for? You can say for my business, for myself, continue. And this is the AI talking to you because AI will just build the website that you want. Bring your ideas. Let's get started. What do you want to call your website? So it's a software website. So you're gonna call it software zone. You're gonna start, click on enter. It's gonna be called software zone. Now we're saying, can you tell me more about the product or services that you offer? So you just say reviews, blog posts, affiliates, uh, products. Uh, but I don't want to add affiliates products because you just wanted to focus on blog. So we just say review blog posts. What type of audience am I targeting? So I'm targeting tech enthusiasts. Okay. So it says, do you have any specific additional goals for your website, such as increasing online sales, building a community, or gaining more leads? So we are going to see all of them. So he knows, I'm telling me all of them, so i writing this. So great, now can you tell me a little about history of your business? We can just write, we are just starting out. So the AI is trying to understand what you're looking for, what your product is and all that, so it will create the perfect website for you. It's not just gonna give you a random template. So we can say we are all set, go to dashboard. So it is generating the website and now it's loading our dashboard on weeks. Now you can see it has loaded our dashboard, so here, we can buy a domain if you want to buy, spend money to buy a domain. But if you don't want to buy a domain, it's just going to give us a random domain, which is a generic domain that we can use for start. And then if you click on here, you can write your first blog post. If you click on design your website, you can design your website. Click on get found on Google. You can get found on Google. So let's see what the AI would do. So let's click on design site. Now, before we click on design site, all these parts, this is the home, this is getting paid. You know, if you want to receive payments on the website, if you don't want to focus on affiliate links, if you also want to receive subscriptions or payment from visitors, you can set it up here. If you want to add a booking calendar, you can set it up here. If you want to see all the payments that we have, you can see it here. And if you want to add your own products, you can create the catalog here. And for blogs, creating blog posts, which I'll talk about shortly, you're going to use these parts click on here and you'll be able to create blog posts. If you want to integrate other apps like Google AdSense to make money from AdSense and other types of you know apps to maybe make money or customize your website to give it a particular functionality, you can click on apps to do that. And if you want to see your app or your website, so if you want to turn this website to a mobile app, you can click here and the website will be turned to a mobile app. Wix is slowly becoming a go-to place for you to create websites at a go. So you want to check it out. And we have inbox, check your inbox, customers, leads, and all these analytics, settings, and automation. So all these are things that you can do at your free time. So I'm not going to go straight to show you how to use all these things. You can do it yourself. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to generate the site with AI completely. Now, the site is partly done, not fully done. So what we're going to do is to click on design site first before we create a blog post, uh, design site. And you can see here it says generate a design with AI, customize a template. We don't want to use templates. We want an AI to generate a design for us based on what we want. So we're going to click on generate a design. Click on generate a design. The AI is generating a website for us. You can see we are generating software zone, your tech blog site. Once the site is ready, you can click on anything you want to change in the brief to adjust the content and design. So it's not just going to give us the site. It's going to generate it and give us the opportunity to edit it the way we want, change colors, edit images, the design, the content and all that. Beautiful. You can see that it has designed or generated our website for us. We didn't need to do anything. You can see the website here. Okay, this is the website. You can see blog post. It already generated blog posts for us. We did not even <laughs> need to generate or create any blog post. It has generated three blog posts for us. Wow. Ultimate guide to choosing the best, blah, blah, blah. Expert reviews, latest trending tech, top five must have tech gadgets. So it has already created three blog posts for you. So you can see, connect with us, to different platform, wow, very easy. So if you want to customize it, you can just click on continue with this design. So you can see the website www.softwarezone.com. If you want to use this particular custom domain, this is a custom domain, you have to pay for it. But if you don't want to use it, you don't need to pay for it. Just continue with editor, set up your business. You don't need to, buy the domain unless you have the money you can buy it's like ten dollars so you can see this is our website uh you can edit it the way you want customize different things here but we're not going to you can change the logo change the name 
add more pages, change images, and all that. Now let's go to creating our blog post. Remember, we already have three blog posts created by AI, but we want to create a good blog post. So let's go back to week. To go back there, you can just click on week icon here. So you can publish this site if you want. Let's click on publish. All right, before we go, let's click on publish the site. All right, I can see the site has been published. You can see that website that was given to us. Let's click on view website. So you can see the website weeks gave to us is meetkingcharles.weeksite.com slash software zone. So this is the free website given to us. So you can decide to buy your own domain, $10, so it will be customized to maybe softwarezone.com. But this is the free one. You can use it. You can use this and get started, okay? You can see the blog that was created, the website, and this is the blog that the AI created. So you can see it created three different blog posts. Now this is a complete blog post and I can comment here, add a comment, we can share. So this is a complete website generated by Wix. Now let's go back to the Wix dashboard and create a blog post ourselves. So you click on blog and click on posts and then we click on create new post. We are going to add a title and a write-up. Now, we don't have a title, we don't have anything to add. Remember what I say, we are going to use AI to do this. So we have an idea of our product. So we already have a list of affiliate products or websites that we have signed up on. So these are the products that we are promoting that I want to talk about. So what is the strategy? Create content about this because people want to get value. If they're able to get value from your blog post, they are going to buy from you. So most of the time, if I want to buy something, for example, if I want to buy a laptop, I just go online, oh, best HP laptops, oh, best Dell laptops. And then based on the information I get for a particular blog post, I just buy. And most of the time, I don't go to another browser to buy that thing. I just click on the link after reading the review. And then once I click on that link, you know, you just make payment and buy. I know if it's an affiliate link, once you click on it, the person is going to get a commission after you buy that product so now we are going to focus on these tools these five tools tldv descript big spy magic form ai and syllabi.io now all these are ai tools that have signed up to become an affiliate so now i want people to click on my link i want people to be able to buy their software from my own unique link so i have to create content about this now there are different ways to come up with content ideas for example we can just copy these names now we are going to go to perplexity.ai now this website can write a blog post for you with updated link updated information so a lot of people use this platform for research because the information is updated the information is getting is current information not chargeability sometimes chargeability information is just old but this gives you information as is online so you want to use this to prepare your blog before taking it to chat gpt to refine it now i'm just going to be generic on this i'm just going to say write a detailed blog post on these tools tldv descript big spy magic form ai syllabi.io sometimes you might just need to name the tools you don't even need to write or tell the ai what it is all about because this ai is smart it's connected to the internet so it knows what these tools are let's try it and see let's click on go so we say write a detailed blog post outline on these tools. We are not telling you to write a blog post yet. We are telling you to write an outline. This is important. You can see it is writing the outline for the blog post. This is introduction, overview, key features, use cases, and it's writing it for each of the tools. So the introduction covers all the tools, overview and key features of all the tools. This is TLDV, this is Descript, this is Big Spy, and these are up to date. It's an ad spy, and this script is an audio video editing tool. Yes, you got it. And TLDV is an AI meeting note taker, correct? So it is up to date with what is online. ChatGPT might not give you the same thing because it might not know what these tools are. All right, now we have this. The next thing we're going to do is to tell it, okay, based on the outline, write a detailed blog post. Add external links We are necessary. Now, this is very important. For writing a blog post, you need to add internal links to other things on your website, and you need to add external links referring to other websites. This will help you rank. Now, you can tell it, based on this outline, write a detailed blog post, add external links We are necessary, and we press enter. So you can see how fast it is. It has written the blog post and you can see here, it has brought out the sources where he got this blog post from. And you can see it's going to reference it below here. If we copy it, you'll see the reference. Now these are the external links, the sources from where he got it from. 
So we are going to copy this. It's going to also copy the external links. It's going to copy the external links once you copy this. I'm going to copy it and go to chat GPT. We are going to paste it on chat GPT. You can see the external links, the citations that it got everything for, which is very useful. Now, what we are going to do is I'm going to go down and we're going to say, write a blog post with this info. It must not be less than 2000 words. Add citations as clickable links, add external links where necessary. Now I'm telling ChatGPT to write a blog post from the blog post that Perplexity have written. So it's going to write a blog post. So ignore this title. We can tell it to give us another title once it's done. So just look at the content. You can see this is how a blog post is structured and this is how it's also structured. You can see all these things, um, all the information given here. So you can see he also added the citations. We are going to ask the word count because a blog post should be at least 1,500 words. So I'm going to ask it a uh, word count only. 1,375 words, not long enough. So we are going to tell it, discuss and share your thoughts. Do not create separate paragraphs for your thoughts on each two in between sentences like a podcast. Now, word count must be within 2,000 to 3,000 words. Press enter to send this. So you can see is listing it and is discussing the key features. It's written the overview of TLDV. This is the first introduction that introduces the whole blog post. You can see that it is done with generating the blog post. Uh, added citations. And if you come down, you can see the word count is 2,098 words. So it's more than 2,000 words, just like we wanted. So what is the next thing we are going to do to round this up? We are going to say, remember, we have affiliate links. We don't want to add the affiliate links individually. We want ChatGPT to add our affiliate links, all right, to this blog post. So what we are going to say is we are going to copy all the affiliate links to these things you are talking about. So the purpose of writing this blog post is to educate and also to refer them to the affiliate links that we have. We want them to know about these tools and also buy the services of each of these tools if they want to from our affiliate link. So you can see we've discussed five tools here, which is TLDV, Descript, Big Spy, Magic Form and Syllabi. And this is our affiliate link. All these are my affiliate links. I added it here in the prompt, I said, add the affiliate links to the title of each link and on strategic areas of the blog post that would drive the user to click. So it's going to rewrite this same thing, but it's just going to add this our affiliate link. So we don't have to add it manually. It's going to add it to different parts of the article. We don't need to do it ourselves. So you can see this is my affiliate link. This is my affiliate link. All these are my affiliate links for these five tools. I'm going to press enter and it's going to add the affiliate links to the blog post. So you can see these are affiliate links. It is still writing. Now it has written the blog post and it has added our affiliate links to the blog. You can see affiliate links added all here, added here, added here. All these affiliate links, these are affiliate links, these are affiliate links, these are affiliate links, all these affiliate links. If I decide to click this, it's going to take it to my affiliate link. So you can see ref equals this. This is my affiliate link, Charles 46. This is my affiliate link. If you buy, I'm going to make money from this, okay? So it has added everything. So we are done. So we're going to add this last prompt for it to give us five different titles to use for this blog post. We're going to say write five titles for this blog post. It should be based on the pain points, on problems, all right? It should be clickbaity. Now let's send it. You can see it has given us five titles to use. We can decide to use this beat the competition, five essential tools to skyrocket your productivity. We are going to use this and then we are going to go back to weeks. Remember, we tried to create a blog post. We're going to go back to weeks and we are going to post the title here, which is beat the competition, five essential tools to skyrocket your productivity. And then we are going to copy our blog post. Our blog post is ready. It has added internal links. It has added our affiliate links and um, so we're going to paste the blog post that we copied from ChatGPT here. So we have posted the blog post. You can see our affiliate links is still here. And if you scroll down, you can see that our external links are here. So what we want to do is just to add spaces to blog posts. Whenever you're creating a blog post, ensure that there are spaces within the blog post so that it's going to look proper and to be easy for people to read. If I'm reading a blog post and words are jam packed, I'm just going to get tired. So you want spaces to be in the blog post. So it should look boring. So we're just going to add spaces and spaces here and spaces to just make it look good. So once we're done adding spaces to 
the blog post and all that the next thing i'm going to do is to add images to this blog post to make it look good so we'll go to google and search for images of these tools or we can just go to their website and screenshot images and add here so you can search for this script so you're going to add you're going to save this image So we are going to download images for all the tools. We are going to search for AI tools for productivity image. And I think this image covers some, some of the tools are here. So we are going to save this. This should be the main image. And now we have downloaded all the images. What we are going to do next is to add the images to this blog post and we are done. All right. What we can do after the images is to add internal links to maybe to reference other pages that other blog posts that we have created on this our website which would help increase the seo ranking and the authority of the website so we are going to add the first image here uh, we're going to click here click on the plus sign click on image and then we are going to click on upload media all right we're going to add the ai image here now under file info or tags you can edit the tags and add tags to this image but we are going to ignore that and just add the image to page and you can see the image has been added here the next thing we are going to do is to add the image for tldv i'm going to add image here you can generate images if you want to generate image with ai but we, are, we already have images you can add videos all that stuff gifs but we are focusing on files this is tldv we're going to add the image to tldv here now you need to add images so that the reader would be engaged and have an idea of what you're talking about now you can add more images but we're going to add here for this script click on the plus image we have all the images already and uh, this is this script add to page this is this script and big spy you click on plus button here click on image and we add the image of big spy this is big spy it's a spy tool for spying ads on social media so if it's too long what you can do is to crop it and click on edit image and then crop it so you can see it has been cropped and the next one is for magic form click on the plus sign and click on image this is magic form this is how it looks like very good too and syllabi same thing click on image and this is how syllabi looks like this is the image for syllabi now this is really an engaging post so you can add images that you want so i think these images are good okay it looks good already so what we can do is to publish and our blog is ready close this so we have published the blog so we are going to go to our website which is this midkingchild.wixsite.com and then if you scroll down we can see this is our latest blog post we are going to click on it and you can see how this looks beat the competition five essential tools to skyrocket your productivity and you can see the image here you can see the right top and the image you can see how it looks everything was done with ai we didn't do you know too much so for example if i'm reading this and i say oh i want to check out this particular tool i can decide to click on it and it's going to take me to the website all right what you can also do is to add affiliate link to the image so that once the image is clicked it's going to take them to the website so you can see that's taking me here which is the website and this is my affiliate link is there click on here so you can see here this is magic form this is how it looks like and you can also see the referral id here via charles and if you decide to get started on this platform make payments i'm going to get a commission so you can see how easy it is publishing a post with ai is not too much work this can be done with few minutes few hours set up your platform and start posting blog posts now you can get ideas of the type of blog post to put out all right you can get idea on google news google explore page which give you ideas on the type of blog post to put out there or you can just see what is trending search for something online repurpose the content all right redo the content and post it get different images and post it and you're going to get good results so on that blog post so there's another way you can make money apart from just affiliate links remember the other platform i showed you they're also getting money through clicks so if you want ads to show on your website and you also make money from when someone clicks on ad, 
you come down here to monetization under blog click on monetization and you can see different ways to monetize your website your affiliate marketing website apart from getting affiliate commission you can add google adsense it's called wix monetize with adsense so this is adsense on your wix uh, you can also add you know payment programs or bookings but what you need to do is just add this wix monetize with adsense and then you'll be able to set up your adsense on your platform so that when people click on link for example if they click on this kind of ad on your website you're going to get paid a certain amount of dollars okay now this was a very thorough tutorial if you don't understand anything sure to drop your questions in the comment section or just go through the video again and share it now if you want to help someone understand affiliate marketing websites how to build it and how to make money from it be sure to share this video to other people if you have not subscribed subscribe to this channel there are a lot of helpful videos on this channel here check the channel out there are a lot of videos that i've made okay so check it out like this video if you've gotten value from it like it i'm sure you've gotten value from the video you also want to check out this video here this is value packed watch this video next